in Europe. Whoops. Hello. 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 All right. There's this very beautiful. <clears throat> Okie dokie, everybody. Um, why don't we first off, I'm going to share through my screen. Let's do a quick uh, review of the numbers from yesterday um, so we can take a look. Um, so <laughs> yesterday was pretty good. So we hit a peak yesterday of 37 game starts and uh, day before was at 20. So we got a good increase in game starts yesterday as we were working with people in um, chat. Uh, in the Discord server, so that's good. Um, we will see where we trend today. Um, and in terms of game completes yesterday, uh, we got through uh, full 11 games complete, and uh, the day before was three. Um, and the vast majority of game completes here, we have about 50-50 really, 52% found, and then the rest were either blank or destroyed, morale loss, or... Oh, that's a win home found. Hmm. The one that has a different keyword, which is interesting. That might be worth looking in. Um, that's weird, because yeah. it's all just an yeah. enum. I'm getting the yeah. name of enums. They shouldn't be different ever. Yeah. Uh-oh. It's so, <laughs> interesting. Someone already hacked our game! Yay, good is for them. It, what's it different from the other one, Home Found? Uh, this is just Home Found intercased. This is Win Home Found. Oh, maybe that's the difference of winning by bug or winning the actual game? Could be. <laughs> mm, no, like because it, it all goes for the same win. Yeah, I was going to say, it, that it, seems it, unlikely. There's yesterday. like only one game over function. Like one code path game over goes through. <laughs> Let's see. And There's it uses an enum, the unless the enum is being. So yeah, it literally submitted result win home found. And that's the correct one. Oh, really? Yeah, that's what the enum is called, win home found. Every, every other one is just home found. Oh, I wonder... The rest, yeah, the rest are like... I wonder if that's like, actually us, because I wonder if it... Could be. No, the, the build that went out did it normally you said the analytics were messed up where it was sending like nothing back uh the initial build yes but was the, initial that's, build that has nothing. it though right the build yep. that's out in the public okay I don't know I really don't know yeah we'll keep an eye on it um <clears throat> but we saw some good good growth yesterday um in terms of clicks so um today obviously keep interacting with folks in the discord um we will most likely see a dip today because it's not brand new um but if we can engage with people in there about what they're doing i think that's good um i did go through <clears throat> and do some grooming through um bugs and feature requests and add them it looked like george you were doing some of that too yeah uh, last night yeah so for now i think you know at the size we are that's probably a fine way. I've just w was acknowledging things with them. Um, when I would capture something, we should probably come up with a. I added a card for coming up with a a uh, custom emoji of some sort for now that we can use for. Yep, got it. Um, so that it's clear that we've we've captured that for now. Um, so I added that as a card. We can go through there uh, as well. <clears throat> I was going to. Uh, suggest that at some point we start going through also our stream stats um i don't think i want to do that today i went through and started looking at them but i want to i want to understand them a little bit more um uh, before we before we start talking about them so uh who would like um who is capturing right now for dsu anyone oh whoops i i can do that if uh, nobody is so okay is for... go ahead okay cool um, so oh, let me do in a release five of DSU. Oh, um, where did we put it yesterday? Did I you put, put it, it in release, release four? Yeah, I'm bad. Whoops. So we're going to have to grab the stuff from release four from yesterday and put it into release five. Okay. Whoops. Same. It's okay. 
I'll go first because I want to show you guys the view. Oh, sorry if that was really loud. I want to show you real quick the view from the window. <laughs> it would be pretty funny if you disconnected right before. No, I'm just kidding. So I got a mountain in my backyard. And that little village that's glistening up there, the coolest thing ever is that that's the village that my mom grew up in. She was born there and grew up there. I'm like, ah, this is nice. the coolest thing ever. I'm so happy. <laughs> Nice. All right, we're all set for you, George. Okay. Uh, so um, I uh, did, or like what you mentioned, um, some bug collecting and chatting with people in um, uh, our Discord. Uh, I fixed finally with Ant's help because I could not find that stupid one little tiny thing left. Fix the bug where um, build installation uh, ability button now continues to have a um, tooltip. Unfortunately, it seems to be broken now. Uh, you can't build installations. Yeah, so I'm going to... Something in the enabled is probably messed up. I didn't look. I haven't checked on that. Like, I okay. literally just saw last night. I was like, oh, there's this, like... Yeah. It looks like a copy and paste thing, and there's this completely is valid node that doesn't need to be here. It's breaking everything. Let's get rid of that. Yep. And then no, actually, I needed to worked. do it. <laughs> yeah, I had to actually connect a second is valid uh, there because there's two things that have to be valid: the ship and the installation, versus the other one which only needs one thing. So yeah, it was a copy paste error. Um, I'll, I'll I'll hop on that bug today. Um, the other stuff that I did yesterday was uh, now if you. Uh, go into the game. Um, well, A, I fixed the cheat menu so that the Galaxy text doesn't get um, cut off when it's too long. Um, so it's it's a lot bigger now. And then um, and you can do cheats with the C key. You can just press C to start the menu, and then uh, there's a button in there for toggling the Galaxy map. We'll add other cheats as we need to. Um, and then um, uh, for long-range scanning, I added a button to the game that toggles the screen. And I have some of the behind the scenes work done towards getting long range gaming done, but I haven't committed that because um, it would kind of break it. Um, so uh, that will be the other thing that I'm working on today. Um, so uh, for things that you guys will see, you'll only see the button and you'll see kind of a blank placeholder long range scanning thing if you press the button. It toggles it on and off. Um, and I think that was everything. Yeah, I think that was everything I did. So yeah, today I'll today. be working on that. Yeah, today I'll be working on that bug for installations. Um, and I will be doing the. Oh yeah, and I had design time yesterday. Um, and I will be doing um, uh, the continuing the long range scanning. I don't think we need to do a programadores today, do we? I don't think so. Um, yeah, I got nothing. Neither do I. So we'll skip that meeting today. So actually, before we go through everybody's, I'm going to save this off. We'll come back and edit it. Why don't we quickly go through, um, before people are committing to what they do today or not do today, why don't we quickly go through the bugs and prioritize what we're going to shift in versus what we're going to push to the bug backlog so we know what uh, the hottest bugs are since we haven't done a prioritization like okay. this before. Um, uh, I'm just going to move the installation one to doing because that is yeah. a must do. That's a must. Yep. This grand celebration one, I even commented on it. It's not It's not specific to this ability. That's the resource pool problem. Ooh. Just not being... Oh, really? Yeah, it's all it part, it's like all part it's of the... Before. It does sometimes. That's all part of the resource uh, problem. It does like it's in, it's okay. not inconsistent, but it'll be weird depending on where your resources are on what ships and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, okay, so we're gonna move this one to the bug backlog. Yeah, right now. Come back and validate it, later. Yeah, okay. I mean we have to redo the resource part Bugs of the squash. game first. Um, okay. uh, uh, I've looked at this one. This one. Hang on a second. Um, uh, crash during a call. Yeah, or no, draw exactly. Call. I, I, I mean, I see. After he posted, I looked at his log and I see where it's happening. I don't have a fix for it yet, but we should prioritize fixing crashes. Um, All right. So, okay. I'm gonna add you to it if that's okay. Yeah, uh, I'll get to it. At some crash point. during draw call. Okay. Yep. Um, sometimes play pause button takes multiple clicks to activate. Uh, same with the play button on the same menu. On Focus the, uh, on the main menu. Uh, should be saved yep. in the menu. 
I say we push that one. Even though it really sucks, I say we push it because other I things are just experienced important. it, and I can't get a repro on it. So I have. I think it has to do with the um, uh, the what's it called of the button. Um, it's it's just a weird shaped button. Like if you don't click correctly, you don't get it. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Um, who I was... didn't write that bug, but I have experienced I it. It's uh, and who submitted it? Uh, it was uh, somebody in Discord. Yeah, was it Nate? Okay, could have been Nate. <laughs> Might have been. Um, so one of the things here also is there's the window focus. Like because if you're playing in window, do you have to click yeah. in the window to get window focus? And so yeah. some people have been confusing that window focus with having to double click on things. That makes sense. Um, so this is probably worth looking at. Uh, like, sorry, this is probably worth keeping track of but not necessarily digging into right now yeah you guys okay with that yeah i agree with that yes okay. the bug backlog um can build two scanners on the same ship uh, i no actually asked car. this in the, the chat this isn't on the same ship because i asked oh was the second scanner built on a ship that already had a scanner no it was built oh i actually reproed this i built a scanner on another ship and it was mm -hmm. it they aren't tied together I'll give you that. They are Wait, like, you're, all, you're allowed to build two scanners yes, if you want. Not on the same ship. But it ship. doesn't work. You right. can build on so, and I've reproed this. I built it. That's why this the top of this, it's not two scanners on the same ship. Can build it's the scan if you build a scanner on a second ship, the ability does not work correctly. Okay. It uh, has nothing to do with I'm the first scanning it. ability. It has nothing to do it's literally just for some reason the ability when it's added on an installation that has been built uh, functions improperly. Okay. On another ship, scan ability no longer works correctly. Okay, that's one I feel like we should fix. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Um, we'll leave it in bugs. You can leave it in. Um, <clears throat> yeah, you can oh, actually geez, build two on the same ship. It loaded. What, George? Suggestions exploded. Mm -hmm. Oh and my gosh! Gathered stuff out of there. Um, okay, I think, so I think by default, any of the suggestions should probably just go to the planning back backlog. Mm -hmm. I think suggestions are going to be something that we want to triage into existing sprints. They're going to be want to prioritize into long longer term sprints. Mm -hmm. um, we just want to flag them as they community. Yeah. I would recommend sometimes whenever we're going forward, then even when we're doing like design times for future things that we're building, check out suggestions that people have said and see if they align easily with yeah. what we're doing or if we can be like, oh, that is completely contradictory to what we want to go. And mm -hmm. Yeah, we should pull it up during every design time from here on out, just as like a habit. So I put I put them here mainly because we didn't have a good place to collect them. Um, do you guys have a place you would like to have them? I think I kind Can of we... like them being in the sprint. Sorry, George, you were gonna say. No, you go. <laughs> um, and then we can per sprint clear them out, that, or maybe I even per design time can. as we as we look at them, we can move them to a repository in a drive or in our drive. Okay, so should we just? prioritize bugs to the top, suggestions to the bottom, and then you guys clear them. I don't really want to add another column because it's going to make the board harder to, nav to navigate. Are you guys okay with that or no? I, think we need a, I don't think we need a column on this board. I was yeah. saying move them to a column I on the totally get it. other one. Like, yeah, I totally get it. But my, my we interact with this board every day and we interact with this board in design time. So either we declare this is going to, we're going to put them in some place where you guys commit to doing that in design time and we pull it up and we go from there. That's totally fine. But where is that if we're going to do that? I say we put it into the sprint planning. Yeah, I would probably. Do we have a bug backlog there? No. So we have a regular prefer, backlog, yeah. but it's not, these aren't backlog items. We don't want them intermingling with things that we know oh. are specific yeah. backlog. I also we just don't where do we put our bugs board? that we're not doing? I don't like them on this board. I find them very distracting on this board. Like, I uh, only want to see board. this stuff when I want to see it. I don't want to... It's really easy for me to be like, oh, 
I think we just make a new column on sprint planning that is acre or something. Community uh, suggestion. Put it there, and then we can move them across into different releases and stuff as we have them, right? Have backlog, which right. is ours, and then we just have like column that they'll triage during design time. Okay. I like that idea too. Okay, I'll move them over. <clears throat> All right, let's get back to DSU then. Who's next? Oh, I get to pick. I pick. Let me look at people. Who looks the most suspicious right now? Oh, Carl does. Okay, Carl, you get to go. Yesterday, I flew up here, um, and I worked on the Playtest feedback doc. Um, one second. Yes, I hate you. Um, Test feedback stuff and trying to organize that finally while I was at Hans's. I talked to Hans through some of the system stuff that I'm thinking and sort of started yeah, yeah. to draw it out. And I think that that I got, I was able to think through it pretty well with Hans. Um, uh, I'm going to try and work at some point on doing like a mock screenshot or something. Um, it's just, I'm going to be in a position to do that very well. If you if you give me a sketch of where you think your final landing is, I can start to put something together in Photoshop. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, the thing I sketched for you while I was there, I think I just want to sort of start representing that. It's just fake screenshots that right from the like of quadrant and axis mm -hmm. out a little bit, like sort of what we were doing very hackily in in Photoshop. Um, I can sketch some stuff here just on paper and, and hand it off to Anthony or you at PAX um, and see see okay. if we can get something just only so. Yeah. Um, is that today the rest of it was going yeah, around? Yeah. And I just great mic. Um, I'm probably not going to do a ton of work um, I'll probably keep an eye on Discord and maybe continue to invite people in. Um, but today is a little bit of a take hero around West Seattle and do stuff, so I wouldn't expect me to work much. But if you ping me, I'll get it. I have Discord on my phone and stuff. So uh, I pick Brandon. So yesterday I started tackling the Steam stuff. All of the description, anything that's essentially just written words is now updated and saved on that uh, dashboard, I guess. Um, I started uploading some screenshots, but they have very specific image size requirements for really every single yes, category. Yes, they do. So, uh, like, like insanely specific. Uh -huh. So uh, I will probably need some support from you, Hans, to okay. get images of no problem. the exacting size. Um, yeah. Would it be useful if I compiled a list of those um, and then link the files or like you know yep. the images. Of... Okay, cool. Yep, so I can get that done for you. And we can just jam through them pretty quick. Cool. Um, so I'll get that done uh, for you as soon as possible. Uh, we had a design time. Um, uh, looked at the playtesting guidelines and gave feedback. And yeah, that was that was about it for the day. So today. Um, well, I guess I already said today I'm going to get that that list done. I want to set up the spreadsheet for content creation. I want to book out that content creation stuff on calendars. Um, awesome. And then, oh, the marketing stuff is what I'm going to pull in today um, so that I can set up a budget and a plan for you guys to approve or disapprove. Nice. And then hopefully, like, just launch those really crappy ads on Facebook and Google just so that we have some base metrics as to what dollar equals in terms of view. Um, and yeah, that should that should probably be the day. Any Thanks. extra time will probably get funneled into uh, reshooting intro video, or at least trying to sketch out those ideas, because uh, my roommate is going to be helping me. Um, yeah. Awesome. So, <clears throat> 
yesterday I spent we had tad design time right after stand up and then I uh, went right into serialization. Um, and I thought I might use the Unreal system and then I looked at it and it's kind of a pain in the butt and I said screw it, I'm just gonna spit out JSON. Um, and so I have started down the path of creating JSON state for ships. Um, and their resources right now. Um, I'm working through that piece today. Um, and then once I get all the data I think I need getting out, I will then do a test on how I might load that back into the game properly um, and just see if I can get ships saving and loading in their current states. Um, and then I'll work from there to then expand that to saving the current state of the galaxy and what we need there. Um, which actually, you already have all the data for... Right, George? That all gets generated now up front. Mm -hmm. So I should just be able to save all that. Just be like, give, yep. me, give me... And I actually, I'm adding to that as we go. Like, not only does it save um, the initial data to seed the galaxy, but it saves the current data as it goes. Well, it's supposed to. There might be bugs. We'll, uh, find, we'll out. find out. I mean, that's all part of the serialization process. We're figuring out where yeah. all the bugs are. Because, oh boy, I've already found a few. Um, so... Actually, now that you say that, how about after stand-up, we talk about that for Programmadores just briefly, because okay. that's actually a really important topic, and I bet okay. we could come to a consensus on that. Sorry for interrupting, though. No problem. Uh, and yeah, so that was my day. Um, was focused on all of that. So, And today will be more serialization all the time. Nice. Nice, big old, huge card. Oh, and yeah, I fixed a few bugs here and there, just whenever I saw it was low-hanging fruit that I'm like, oh, I know how to fix that. Um. Yeah. Um. So, Tons, have you gone? No. Yeah. Um. So yesterday, uh, I started at the day, uh, going through and familiarizing myself with some of the marketplace sounds that we're looking at for uh, placeholders until we do a real big audio pass in the future, um, and how. Uh, cues and the such work in Unreal. Then we did stand up, um, and I started uh, working a little bit on getting uh, initial sounds in. So my intention is to kind of go through and do a first pass on sounds that are okay, um, and not spend a lot of polish time on them yet. Um, and at that point, then go through with you guys um, and do maybe a feedback session with anybody who wants to be in there. Um, and go through and say, okay, this one's this one's too loud, this one's too soft, this one's too metallic, whatever. Um, and go through and just do a quick pass of uh, how do we make them so that they actually act as as good subtle placeholders until we do an actual audio pass. Um, so uh, I went through that stuff and then picked up Carl and a hero from the airport, and uh, we came back here. Um, I continued working on audio stuff uh, through the day. Um, spent a little more time doing metric stuff uh, midday, uh, just getting uh, like the game results and things like that all working the way I wanted. Um, and then, like Carl had talked about, we spent some time going through um, some of the uh, visualizations for systems and what that means and what the implications of some of those decisions are. Um, so I think that was a pretty good conversation. I think Carl has a good idea where he wants to be there, um, which will, I think, inform a decent amount of work in the next two sprints. Um, then we took off from here and went and had the most amazing dinner I've had in a long time, which was fantastic. Oh, yay. Um, I really, really enjoyed that. Uh, so thanks for uh, going with me, Carl. Um, then came home. That was my day. Anybody have anything they want to show off? I can show a JSON file. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could show the the cheat map, but it's it's literally text. When I say text, I mean yeah. like it's it just writes out what the map is of the galaxy. That's it. It's I mean, not very let, exciting. Let, let's keep in mind that it doesn't have to be like doing. It doesn't have to be the most exciting thing. Like text and JSON is fine. Like it's what we're doing, and it's important to the process. So. Yep. Okay, Anthony, you go first because I have to load my. I have to load too. Thing. I'm not. Well, crap. Oh, I don't, there I you don't go. have a. Okay, it looks like nobody's showing anything. Oh well. 
Let me get there. Okay, go to work. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> You're in Anthony's house, aren't you? Yes, he is. He's in my upstairs. Office. I was I was going to say, I recognize that shelf. That <laughs> shelf of awesome. The shelf that I would be just drooling over. I love those shelves. Ugh, they're beautiful. Came with the house. Like... Ooh. What's a nice thing to come with When the we house? bought the house, like, they were... This whole back wall is just custom-made bookshelves to fit it perfectly. And we were like... When the, we bought it, we're like, well, if you want to leave those here, like, we won't say no to them, because we'll probably just do the same thing if you take them. And the people were like, yeah, we don't want to move them. I'm like, cool. <laughs> Enormous bookshelves. And I already have way too many books uh, to fill in. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Four big old rows in there of RPG books. <sighs> I have a lot of RPG books. I just reorganized it too, and I was like, to make more space because I'm like, it keeps growing. <laughs> um, okay, I'm building the project now. Wait, you're showing a JSON file, you said, right? Yeah, I just have to generate it. I I have I was working upstairs yesterday, so the JSON file lives on my was on my laptop, but I just need to play and make a jump. It it currently writes out when you. Uh, oh, start the start jump I... in or finish jump out. I have to figure out why I hooked it right now. Which we'll have to determine how often we actually do want to save the game. Um, probably all the time when people quit, so they don't, they won't save scum constantly. Oh yeah, and reminder, like I said in chat, this is completely separate to what Anthony was saying, but. Um, we have Monday, September 2nd off because of Labor Day. Uh, something that we did, I don't know if we did or did not factor that into our sprint planning. I'm assuming we didn't because we didn't talk about it. We totally didn't talk about it. Mm -hmm. So well, we also have packs and a bunch of other stuff too, so. Oh boy, we're gonna do great this sprint. <laughs> yeah, we'll do fine. We, I mean, this is something that, that again, we, the last two sprints we've talked about this that we're we're not we're not target we're not planning for completeness right, completeness right now we're planning for the MVP that we feel like we want at the end of a sprint. There mm -hmm. it is. Uh, so being off is not necessarily a problem because we're not using this to course correct how much we can get done in a sprint. We will get back yeah, to that discipline yeah. probably once we get past the Steam update. We'll get back to the discipline of trying to get predictable because then we're going to start talking to people who are paying for the product for, you know, we're looking for a release for this window, yada, yada, yada. So um, right now we're targeting MVP, so it's yeah. not worth stressing about. So I'll move this over so everyone on stream can see it. And then, uh, well, you guys want to be able to see it. Um, dang it. The pain of uh, two monitors, let me... My Discord. Screen share, change windows. Huh. VS Code doesn't show up in there. Weird. Actually, one of these suggestions is actually, I think, a bug. Bring it, bring it up. All right, everyone. Done. I'll just expand it here. Uh, the uh. Ms. Jason goes through the ships, tells me what ship data def they are, goes through each resource on the ship, gives me the pot, I just spit out the info I need, save it, and just does this for all the ships. Sweet. That's awesome. And I mean, and then, I have to so do that, so the same file is, is going to be at JSON? For now, yeah. Okay. I mean, I've done a bunch of saving with JSON before uh, from previous projects, and it's a it's a great format, especially at this point. Whenever you're just like, "Hey, send me your save file, and I want to look at it. <laughs> I just want to see yeah, like data true. in the save file." And then mm -hmm. once you're once you actually want to lock it down, you can just encode these as binary files. Right. Like you you can you can take the JSON and spit the string as a binary file and then read it in as a binary file and then re-deserialize it in, back into JSON. Oh. Yep. Very cool. 
Very yeah, cool. It, it's very clean. Like, saving stuff as JSON is very nice um, overall. Um, and so right now, the resource pools would be considered a separate section of the save file, but eventually we will have resources as part of ships. Resources are resources. part of ships right now. They've oh, always yeah. been they, part of ships. But the way that the resource pool, global pools are set up is what's breaking everything. Because like okay. yeah. what's pulling resources from different places is just broken. Like, okay. And it will sometimes go like, oh, your ship doesn't have the resources, but the pool has the resources, but I didn't actually minus any pool from a like it doesn't follow go through with the whole like consuming it from different ships and so that's why right. get, sometimes so you get consistent. buttons that don't use the right amount of resources sometimes they won't use resource sometimes they'll use like 30 and you're like why right. did you use that much or they'll give you resources sometimes like you'll just magically yeah. get resources um, nice yeah so like there's a bunch of the back in there that's just buggy and not functioning right or as okay. it should, and but it more than just fixing bugs, it just needs to be reconsidered how it's the approach yeah. to doing it. So, uh, what the you next, showing, George? okay, uh, I am showing, let's see, um, the cheat menu. Woo, cheat menu. You can toggle the galaxy map, and when you do so, bloop, see, it's kind of gross, but that's okay. Um, so it tells you all the star system. It starts with the winning star system and then picks every star system before it that you would jump to. Eventually, I want this to be a graphical map where you can hover over any particular star. Like, it'll be a lined path, kind of like similar to uh, Slay the Spire's map, mm -hmm. um, but maybe horizontal. Um, and uh, you hover over a star, and it gives you all the planets and what they have and everything. But like you can see here, for example... Um, There's a lot of A-type systems. That is a lot of A type systems. That's why all A type that? systems. Oh, I know why it is. Oh, it's because I I have um I have temporary data in my JSON oh, okay. file to control for stuff while I was testing bugs, I uh, and I made it so that the only type you can get is A. Period. Okay. Uh, this is a special case. It always does a win star system type uh, at the end of the thing. Um, so you can see, like here, here's a celestial object in the wind star system. It's an ocean planet, 93% habitable. Um, it has 48 metal, it has 15 gas, and it has 68 food. Um, and so, um, uh, and yeah, here's an A-type system with a gas giant that has, like here's an A-type with three gas giants right here. So this is ugly, but it works, and it helps us to debug. And so that's kind of all we needed at the time. Yep. Um, unfortunately, now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, hey, actually, we're going to run out of space. So I just need to make this a scroll box um, and then just set a maximum size. But that'll be like a super trivial thing to do. Um, cool. And we'll toggle that back off. And then uh, the other thing I'll show is this is not even close to ready. There's some behind the scenes work, I said, like uh, like I said, but um, this is the what it looks like. I don't know if you guys noticed this when you played or anything, yeah. but it feels pretty natural into the game. So I don't feel like it it doesn't belong, but I don't know. Um, and we'll get we'll get this stuff. So yeah, this is the old thing. Remember this? I like I love how the circles go. At least though, mm -hmm. kind of looks cool. Um, but um, so cool. as you start scanning, um, you, there'll be an installation that does long range scanning, um, and when you finish it, it will pop up one of these things on this screen. Or if you've already scanned every possible jump target that you could, it will it will say uh, you know all scans complete, uh, no further jump targets defined. Yeah, and then it'll disable your installation as a result. But you will always be able to do one extra jump uh, thing past what you. Um, Sorry, you will always be able to scan one extra jump target past how many there are because you don't know how many there will be. So, you know, if you're if you're a completionist, yeah, yeah. If you're a completionist, then you're going to be scanning every system a number of times equal to its jump targets plus one because the last one tells you, oh, we tried to scan, but there weren't any, there wasn't anything else, so we're done. So basically, if you're playing optimally, you scan. If it's good enough, you just jump. Yeah. Um, cool. So that's yeah. that's that. Nice. 
and hopefully I can get that done by uh, well, I, I think I'll have it done by end of week I can't imagine I wouldn't Nice. I guess it depends on what bugs come up. So, and Carl, like with him working on sort of these initial systems for long range scanning, we should probably take a look uh, this week in uh, at some point for the uh, the sprint backlog, um, our sprint planning board, and go through and figure out when. Uh oh. Maybe not. Oh, he's kind of there. All right. Can you hear me successfully? Uh, <laughs> yes, I can hear you. OK. You're cutting in and out. So um, so we should probably try and figure out when the uh, work for sort of your thoughts in terms of systems and systems layout and w long range scanning when those things intersect and make sure that we're we're not adding more work up front than we uh, we're not adding work that is going to be wasted work. We should make sure that those two things sync. Yep, for sure. I, I'm going to try. I won't get to it today. Well, maybe I'll get to it tonight. We'll see. But I'm going to try and write up how we talk through. Um, or if you have an opportunity to just quickly go through it with George, since you, I've explained it the best to you, just because I do think that there's, because there's intersection of stuff, just to like make sure we're not corner that we have to back yeah, up. That, that's my worry. And that's why I think maybe it's worth a conversation at a design time with like a presentation with everybody of like, hey, this is what we're thinking about. Because it is, it, there's enough of a swing there that that I think people conceptually should probably have a good idea of what what that looks like. Yeah, sure. I'll try. I'll pr try and prioritize getting something written up and explained. Um, and I'll probably take time out to explain it to Anthony too, just so that like a couple people know it. Yeah, I'm like going through it with Anthony while you're out there would totally work. And then having him and myself jump into a design time with everybody else and present it. And then we've got two perspectives on it. Um, I think would be a good way to go. I just I don't want to get in a situation where, where we end up having to do a bunch of refactoring because there's assumptions based on on the uh, game jam, not on uh, where our where your brain is now for systems. For sure. For sure. Okay. Cool. Um, okay, so last thing I wanted to, it looks like one of the suggestions might be a bug. I want to see what people think. Um, as a player, I'd like to know I cannot upgrade or build installations when another order is going on. That sounds like a bug of the way the menus are displaying um, the way the menus are displaying what can be done and when. So like it should be disabled in that moment. Okay, uh, let's, yeah, I've... can we change the wording and put it as a bug then? In yeah, our... basically like make sure. I'm going to change it. Because I think everything else disables, like normal abilities, you can't, if you have an ability running on a sh... Well, no, because it removes the ability buttons to begin with, is the thing. That's right. Yeah. Um, it just hides them, so you have to cancel that to... Yep. Yeah. I'm going to change this to a bug and reword it. Cool. All right. Anybody have anything else, or are we done? I think we're done. Me and Anthony are going to talk for a few minutes, but yeah, that's yeah. it. Fantastico. Right on. Thanks, everybody. Oh, when does PAX start? Friday. Friday? Okay, cool. Yeah. Right on. All right. Cool. All right. Cool. Thanks, everybody. We'll talk to you soon. Later, everyone. See you all later in the stream. Bye.